dear students welcome to my not tally prime youtube channel my name is babura from hyderabad in our tally prime videos today our topic for discussion in the tally prime is how to show or print default credit days or due date in the sales invoice in tally prime okay so in the we will learn about this so this previously we have already discussed the bill wise details so under this bill wise details we discussed that against the new reference then and the bill adjustment of bills bills adjustment we learned you are just new reference reference means bill number new reference against reference advance reference and all account and based on this i mean depending on this or related to this we discussed how to see this outstanding report under the outstanding report receivable bills receivable bills payable all like the ledger wise ledger then group wise group so we have learned on this and in this again we learned another thing how to see the what you call aging report that is bills aging report age of the report bills so aging report is hello today we are going to learn depending on related to the bill wise entries only we will discuss this default credit days or uh, due date how to show or print in the invoice okay so if you want to learn this the previous all these videos you again you follow them okay so i will share the screen so our discussion is how to print or show default credit days credit date Print days are due date in the sales invoice in the tally. Right, this is the other. this one, and uh, that I am showing this question: how to show the show or print default credit days are due date in the sales invoice in tally. Right. Okay, so this is what we are going to learn today. So for that, we will go to tally prime. So in this tally prime, if it is not showing, we have to show this how to show or print. So we will go to the account and now. We will make we will make a sales invoice. We will make a sales invoice. So click voucher sales. We will take first December twenty. We will take first December twenty two. We will create a new account. So we will create a RC. We will create a new account. Vasu Vasu Electronics. Is on as it is a sundry data. We are selling goods. Sales invoice means it is a data. So sundry data. So here maintain bill levels. Yes. So here we will give thirty days. We will give thirty days. That is the default credit period or default credit days or default credit period is the same. So accept this screen and then sales ledger is sales. Then we sell. See here, Tony TV. Twenty inches. We sell one number. Get twenty five thousand rupees each. So we have pay for this. So this is the invoice. And here this is the new invoice. That's why it goes against new reference. So number forty and default due date of credit days. So default credit days are thirty, and it is showing both days and date. That is the due date. Now here before accepting this invoice. We will go to print preview. So if you click R, come R to P. We have to click again R. Instead of that, Control P. If you click directly, you will go to preview page. So if you click I or preview, we will see here. See here. It is here that bill details. It is showing the amount and uh, it is showing our account. It is not showing the bill because the bill is not accepted. So this is the invoice amount, but bill is not accepted. So it is showing on account and twenty five thousand rupees and default credit days are due date. It is not showing in the bill details as well as in the mode or terms of payment. It is not showing anything because we have not accepted the invoice. Now we will see. Now we will accept the invoice now. We will accept the invoice. See here, new reference. We are accepting the invoice. So now page up. So to the same device, 
Now you check up the preview. So to check up the preview, here you see. Here it is showing new reference number 14 because this is accepted. New reference number 14 and 30 days. That is the default credit period because while creating the ledger of the data, we give 30 days. So 25,000 rupees. It is showing in amount. Okay, so build details it is showing. See here. Suppose if it is not showing, see here. I will show one more thing. I will show you. I will show you one more thing. So here, now, we will go to the, we will go to the same invoice. We will go to the same invoice now. You see here, in the preview. So here, the default days is not showing, as well as here, the bill details are not showing. It's not showing any bill details. So he has to show the bill details, due date are default credit days, credit days, and also here, it has to show. So that's why, if it is not like this, if it is like this, it is not showing any bill details, what we have to do is, what we have to do is, so in this, while you are in this, print preview, see here, in this, go to print preview, here, before this one, you see, C configure, go to the configure, voucher details, that is any voucher, property sales voucher, in the voucher details, you see here, show billowage details, show billowage details, it is no, you make it yes, you cannot type yes, just you enter, it will become yes. Again, enter it to the command. So, if you enter, it is maybe yes, and now accept it. And now you go to preview. See here. Now it is showing the details, including the days. Okay, it is showing. Now, okay. Now, here, the mode of the mode or terms of payment, it is not showing. So, if it is showing this here, it has to show the days here also. It is showing due date here. It has to show the due date also here. So, for that, what is the reason for not showing that? So in this case, so when you are in the voucher, you can say go to F12 configuration. F12 configuration, you see here. Okay. Okay. See in the F12 configuration, see they, they are see here. There are two items. One is Provide dispatch order and export details. Export details are not created, not required now. So we require only dispatch and order details. So this is the first one is dispatch details and provide order details. Both are, both are, see here, these both are showing, they must be yes. If that is okay, otherwise you have to make them yes. So you have to make it yes. And then next one, sorry, not this one. This one, export I mean, uh, dispatch details, yes. And window details, yes. And accept the screen. And accept the screen. Now you see the, how you accept that? Well, now, see here, when you are going this, after this, it will show the dispatch details after clicking the party name, dispatch details, and order details. So in this order details, it is showing Motor terms of payment 30 days. So, we are creating the party account, we give 30 days, we also it is giving 30 days. But here, when you are making here, you can change the date here, I mean, time here. Because if you suppose, if you go 15 days in the party account, here you can make it 30. Both will become 30. Make it 30 days, or you can give the date also. So, here, the 30 days is there and 30 days here. Okay. Suppose if you make it Due date, then that also you, you have to make it due date. Okay, now here we see here 30 days. Calculate the 30 days from first December 30 days is 31 12 22. So accept this here, accept this, then accept, come down here, and then the, the bill adjustment here also we have to do the same. So there we give date here also 31 12 22. Okay, I have given this. So in this case, so in both in um, 
Okay. The voucher and order details, it is showing the due date. In the ledger, the bill ledger, bill wage details are shown. It is showing this one. So this bill wage details will be shown in the invoice, in the description column. And here, if when in the party account, it also will give date. That, is, that will be shown in the mode on the top. Mode are terms of payment. So now, that is accepted. Again, page up. Now you go to the print preview. So here, so click print preview. See this one. See here, it is showing date here, mode of payment, and also in the bill details. Bill details are showing the same thing. Okay. Suppose if we make in the bill details, that is in the party account, both we make 30 days, here also both will be shown 30 days. For example, we will make that. So we will make that. This will go here. So in the party account, here, you make it 30 days, you make it 30 days, and you accept this bill you, at the end of the bill. The details, here also you have to do 30 days. The same thing, in the bill details, the, here in the bill wage details, as well as in the party ledger, okay, you have to do the same thing. That is order details. Now you see both the places we made this one. You see, now you see the preview. You go to the preview. You see, it is 30 days, here are the 30 days. Both the places. So in the party default credit days are while accepting the bill, while accepting the bill. But in the party while creating the bill, in the party account while creating the party account, there you might have given 15 days, no problem. But in the bill wise details, we have to give, you can change the time. And the order details also, we can change the time. But order details and bill wise details at the end of the invoice, both should be equal. But in the party creation screen, it may be different. There's no problem. Okay. So, like this, we can make it too. Sometimes, sometimes, when the order is given, the party will pay the total amount in advance. The party will pay total amount in advance. In such a case, here, when you hear the order details, so 30 days credit period is not there. It is advance, advance payment. Advance payment is given. In this case, here also, Advance payment. We are taking advance. So here we can give only 31 plus. Okay. Here it is there. So here now you can see the print review. Print review you can see here. So on the top, it is showing advance payment. Okay. But in the bill wise details, it is showing in the date because for this there should be some some scripts are there, they are called add-ons. So if you give the add-on, so any changes we can make in the already existing in the existing software, you can make the changes. For that purpose, we have to buy add-on from Cali Prime or from outside. In such a case, if you make advance, it also it will show, not, it will not show the date, it will show advance payment. Okay, so this is about that. Showing our printing now, after that, so we have seen this print preview, we will take up this. We will take up another one here. Yeah. We will give only 30 days. 30 days. And at the end also, we will give 30 days. We will give 30 days. In this case, in this case, go to pre preview and we will see that preview. After seeing the preview, so here both is showing 30 days. Now next step, and in this you can print, you can click the print or again escape, and you can click click P or here you need to uh, click the L L R T or control P. Just simply P. If you click this, and the bill will be printed. Okay, this is about the printing or showing the it is showing first, and at the end, if you want. You can print the invoice. In this invoice, while showing or in printing also, it will show, it will print all the due date, bill number, everything. In the description column, bill details, it will show the bill number, due date or default days, credit days, and amount. 
on the top, mode or terms of payment also, it will show that details or the what you call the due date also. So this is about, this is the topic today. Now, here, one request for you, all the people who are watching this, with my channel, already if not subscribe, means that is non subscribers, please don't see and go. Please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon and select all so that you will get notification for all the videos which are uploading. And then share my channel with all your friends as well as any working at home thanks or others who want to learn Cali Prime. Okay. And while watching these videos, please watch the video till the end. If you skip the video in the middle, you will lose some, bit, I mean, the balance uh, topics, you will not understand. So, watch till the end. And at the end, after watching, if the video is good, you just click, you click the uh, thumb version, that is, and like the video. And you please post your comment below the description in the comment section what your idea about this video is there is any problem you do that or, or you get any problem or anything you can understand all this you post that comment okay and then and then is so i am uploading these videos every day twice so they go then english and i am uploading so that i am uploading in a systematic way a then b then c like that in a systematic way, I'm uploading. So you also watch the videos and practice the videos in the same systematic way. Then you will get, you will learn, you will learn very, I mean, you will gain expert knowledge and you will become expert content. Or if you watch some video, skip some videos, then go to another video. Like that, if you watch, you cannot understand, you will not get the good knowledge. So I wish all of you get very good knowledge, expert knowledge, and become expert accountants and wish you all the best time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.